cover of the application of the balance harness in a standing position. Um, the balance harness is used again for primarily balance activities and spotting and some limited amount of unloading. Um, so first of all, you're just going to place the upper piece, uh, just like a vest, onto the patient. You're going to want to then adjust the shoulder strap so that you position the belt um, around the waist area. Um, you would like the belt to be placed in a position where this um, angled edge catches underneath the angle of the ribs here and this lower edge just comes down below the iliac crest and just right around the greater trochanter area so you get a good um, anchoring point. So we're going to go ahead and attach our waist straps. So there's two waist straps. that are placed on opposite sides of the belt. We're just gonna adjust those and tighten those as, 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 as comfortably as the patient can tolerate, as tightly as they can tolerate. And then I'm gonna adjust the um, length of the shoulder straps by just pulling down on the black webbing to shorten the shoulder straps. If I wanna lengthen those, I just pull up on the orange webbing to lengthen for taller patients. Once we've got that in place and anchored down, we can then apply the lower piece of the harness. So the lower piece of the harness is a piece of webbing, a rubberized webbing, that is placed behind the patient, and we're gonna be capturing the gluteal fold. So I'm gonna place it behind the patient, and there's two D-rings on each side. We wanna uh, position those so that we have equal positioning on both sides. Then we can take our straps here, and they're gonna go through this blue webbing here. And we'll place this one through the blue webbing. This kinda of holds the belt in place, so the Support strap in place. Let's tighten that up. Get our even position here. And then we're gonna take these straps and they're gonna actually crisscross in front of the patient and go to the buckle that's angled here. So turn to your side here. So we have an angled buckle here just on the back side of the harness here. We're gonna clip that in, turn back this way, and we'll clip this into the angled buckle on the other side. And take up our slack. Go ahead and you can face forward. Good. In order to take up the slack, it's often easiest just to go ahead and grab the webbing and feed some webbing in as you tighten the buckle. Same on this side, feed the webbing in as you tighten the buckle. At this point, we may also wanna take up a little more slack at the waist belt. And so go ahead and turn around and we'll show you the position of where the, so we see the webbing here and the pelvic support strap of the gluteal fold. So go ahead and turn back around one more time. Good.